Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Pentiment. Last time we left off, we hopped into some books with Illuminata over here, and that was pretty cool. So, let's see what we got to do today. Clara kindly gave me some food for dinner. Should see if Otto and Indris are around. Otto was working below the abbey, between the guest house and the abbot's house. Alrighty. Sister Illuminata of Perugia. Librarian and future prioress of Kearsall Abbey. Sister Illuminata is responsible for the contents of Kearsall's library, and she oversees the work of Sister Zadina, who will one day take her place. Illuminata is known for her great intelligence and expansive education, I could tell. Alrighty, anybody else? Uh, it doesn't appear to be so, unless you're on the previous page. Nope. Oh wait, no, guy. Um, and, uh, oh, jeez, I'm forgetting what the comment said, but a comment mentioned that, uh, Guy is probably not the pronunciation, uh, of your name. Uh, there's pr it's probably a different pronunciation. They also mentioned that, uh, Andrea that I saw last time could also be a man's name. Um, the author of the second book was probably a man. Andrea is a man's name in Italian. It's the equivalent of Andre. And since Brother Guy comes from France, his name is pronounced G. The Y here is pronounced as in at the end of lately. G. Interesting. I would not have come to that conclusion for that pronunciation at all. So it'd be like G. I guess. Sorry. I might I might have the wrong idea here and I apologize if so. Uh alrighty, so yeah, I just wanted to point that comment out. So our objective is over there. So I guess we can just hightail it over there. I'm not really sure. Anyone's gonna have anything new to say to me on the way over. Possibly. I don't know that there'd be anything new to find. Oh yeah, I still can't check the book, right? In the scriptorium that, um... Uh, I believe it was the prior came in and was messing with. Yes, I can, I can check it. Okay, just wanted to be sure. Hmm, I wonder what prior Ferenc was doing with this book. From the library of the University of Five Churches, the Hungarian called it Pex. Hmm, that's where Ferenc is from. Doctor of Theology, George of Gran. A friend of his. Okay, and then we can... probably point out the letters that are... in red, maybe? And decipher that? Because there's something going on here. Ah, oh, the spec... Speculum Astronomiae, Astrom Astronomiae, Albertus Magnus's defense of astrology. Albertus Magnus, renowned 13th century Dominican theologian, philosopher, astrologer, and bishop of Regensburg. A prolific writer, he was known primarily for his work on Aristotle and his knowledge of natural science. Thank you, my little skill there. Sloppy bookend, couldn't have been produced by an abbey of note. Bastard script. Burgundian, Flemish. Not from here, not recently. Interesting. That's definitely a pharynx handwriting between the lines and in the margins. Is he notating the text for the university in Pex? Is he notating the text for his personal use? Is he notating the text for the benefit of future readers? I think it's for his personal use. In any case, it's thorough commentary. Yeah, and then here we have things. What's this? It looks scribbled, not like Ferenc to be so sloppy. He didn't even blot the ink dry. Yeah, I mean, it looks like you wrote it in a, uh, hurry. Libra, Capricorn, Aries. All astrological symbols, what's written below? Greek, to be sure. Oh, I'm not even gonna try. Maybe I should. Abdkaktsu. <laughs> That's, woof. Yeah, no, I do not, I cannot even begin to even attempt to do that. That's a lot of consonants right after each other. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. That's not even a word, just a jumble of letters. Okay, okay, see, I'm stupid and uncultured, so I thought that was actually a Greek word. <sighs> I was about to say, that's a lot of consonants. This must become some kind of cipher. What's the key? Wait, the Volvel I found also has Greek letters on it. They must be connected, but how? The outer ring of the Volvel is marked with alchemical symbols, but the cipher has astrological symbols. Wait, of course! Each astrological symbol is associated with one of the four elements. 
I just need to make those associations on the Volvel, and I should be able to solve this cipher. Okay, well then, yes. We definitely, definitely want to go do that. It wouldn't let me interact with that before. I'm glad I didn't forget. Alright, Pryor. Let's see what you, uh... Let's see what you got here. So I just have to associate some things together. Now that I know the connection between the astrological symbols and on the cipher, and the elemental symbols on the Volvel, Frank's node should be easy to decipher. Okay, so... Oh god, you say easy, but are you sure? Are you sure? Um, let's close this, I accidentally put a G in there. So, now that I know the connection between the astrological symbols on the cipher, and the elemental symbols on the Volvel, Frank's note should be easy to decipher, is what you say. Okay, so these two. Okay, this is air. Oh God, what am I? What am I trying to do here? What? Am, what am I parsing? Okay, okay. I think yeah. I just had to take a second to kind of work through this in my brain. So this is giving me the symbol. This is the translated Greek letter, and then I have to turn the volvel to whichever element this corresponds to. So this is. This little symbol here, for air, and we need a W, but it needs to be on air. So, the W, that's it right there, isn't it? Yes, so that would be... Is that a U? Or a V? That's a U. Okay, I thought it was like a weirdly not pointed V. Okay, so, so U, so it would be right here. I can't click it? Uh... It let me click it before. Oh, is it- is it just pointing to the correct answer? Oh my god, it is. Okay, okay, wait, 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 okay, never mind, never mind, I see now. I see- I, I see what it's doing now. Okay, so... Yeah, it's just straight up pointing to the correct answer. There's actually not anything I need to solve here. I saw these hands and I was like, what do these hands mean? Is that which one I have selected currently? But no, it's just straight up telling me the answer. So... The next one, the symbol is for Earth, so I need to change it to Earth. So it would be that. Okay, this is way simpler than I was making it out to be. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, fire. I thought they were gonna make me do this all by myself, but no, they're they're pointing it out to me. <laughs> okay, okay. As I was like looking at all of this and I was like, what am I staring at? But really all we have to do here is just um go to whichever element this corresponds to each symbol. So fire would be over here, and back to air, so that would be right here. Yeah, and then these are the Greek letters, and then this is, these are the normal letters here, our traditional alphabet here. So, yeah, the Greek letters on the outside, the proper letters on the inside. I forget which alphabet um, our alphabet actually is. I know, you know, obviously, the uh, alphabet that English uses didn't start there. I, th I want to say it's like the... You know what? As I thought, it was the Roman alphabet. I wanted to say that, but I didn't want to come off as stupid. But yeah, it was the, it was the Roman alphabet, or Latin alphabet. Uh, alrighty. So, next we have the little... Uh, sign for this. When I, when I see this, I think of, uh, Scorpio. This, like, little weird M here. So this would be Earth. I can't believe it was this easy. I really did not expect it to be this simple. I thought I was proper going to have to solve a uh, puzzle here. Um, Earth. And then the M is water. So that would be you. Gerhard, as in the late brother Gerhard. Yes, yes, it can't be a coincidence. Okay, so yeah, he Gerhard. Here we go. He Gerhard. Brother Gerhard died sometime last year. How does this connect to him? Is it an anagram using Her Gerhard's name? Did he use his name for an abbreviation? Why his name? It might... It might be an anagram? This might be overthinking it, though. Harried, hardier. Where does the G go? God, I'm sure Adok would know. Maybe it's not an anagram. Hmm. Let me think. Did he use his name for an abbreviation? There's a lot of letters for an abbreviation. A cipher inside of a cipher, perhaps? I don't know. Let me think. 
Why his name? Yeah, this is an important detail. And why Hegerhard? Couldn't be Greek. Never heard of an Italian or Spaniard named Hegerhard either. Ridiculous. Let me think. Wait, maybe it's an abbreviation and a name. Gerhard is the name. What's H-I? Yeah, yeah, so H-I Gerhard, so something something Gerhard. Hod Ignoda? No. Hink Ele Lacrime? Hmm. Oh my god. It's so much simpler. Hik Iaset. Here lies. Here lies Gerhard. Gerhard. Here lies Gerhard. What's the significance? I suppose I should find where Gerhard is buried. The Abbey Cemetery seems like a good place to start. Wow, could I have just left and went and had dinner with those people without doing this? Because that's wild. Okay, so to the cemetery. So if we go over there, we might find some weird occult shit. Okay. I'm really surprised by how, how much simpler that puzzle was than I was making it. Um, was it this one? This seems like... this is the previous one. Monument to the founder of the Abbey. It's fairly recent. The funds are donated by her descendants. Yeah, no, this is not... not the one. This ain't it, chief. This is just, uh, the apple tree. Yeah. Only just started to bear fruit, so it must be this one. This is the only other one I can really interact with. We're gonna go grave digging? Huh. The ring cipher pointed here, but I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Aren't these two things, like, underlined? Looks like it. Huh. Cypher's pointed here, but I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Yeah, okay. Do I need to get more information before I can do this? Hmm. Maybe this requires more information. Is that a bug on me? Go away, bug. Get out of here. Okay. Yeah, I guess I need more information before I can properly solve this. I thought maybe I could click on this. Hmm. Yeah, we must need more information or something. Huh. Okay, well, we've, we've started to crack some sort of, uh, some sort of clue here. We know, we have Here Lies Gerhard. So, nothing else in the Prior's house, yes? Okay, the Volvel. Hmm. What if there's some, uh, some occult meetings that are taking place? And they're trying to, trying to cover it up. Oh well, um... I guess we just go towards our objective now? I don't really know where else I would go to be able to get more information about this. The only other thing I could think of is to talk to Adok about the potential of an anagram. Oh wait, I could have got to the church from there. Let's just go there, because they're all in church right now, yeah? I think that's uh, what we set up. Is my cat scratches something he's not supposed to? Um, I thought they were all in the church. The crypt, the tower. I mean, I don't think I would find anything in the crypt, yeah? The only other thing I can think of is to sneak into the library. But, like, to potentially find out more information there? What is this? Tim Markers, Back Centuries? Okay, nothing. So... Or Dietrich's, yeah, library? Secret Inches Library, I'll have to remember this. Okay, so there's no reason to go in there. I thought maybe we could go in there, get some books. Maybe find out something interesting. But no. Okay, uh, I thought they were all in church, but they must be somewhere else. Yeah, because they weren't over here. Courtyard and lavatorium. I don't remember exactly where they said they were going. I thought it was church, but I guess not. Alright, let's just get back out here to the cloister, I suppose. No one to talk to out here. Yeah, it seems like everyone's kind of busy. Um, I mean, the last place I could check is here in the courtyard. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why they would be here in the courtyard. There's clearly some secrets here. I wonder if we have, like, multiple days to solve the secrets, though. Like, maybe I've solved everything that I can solve today. And we have to just, uh... You know, come back another day and continue our little quest there. Alright, here we are at the Lower Abbey. And there's actually characters over here. What do you know? So, I'm looking for some specific characters, but I can talk to you, Martine. 
Go away, Andreas. Can't you see I'm busy? I thought we could have a pleasant conversation for once. Why would I want that? I got so many better things to do. I'm only trying to be friendly, Martin. What's your problem with me? I'm only trying to be friendly. Why? Because I like you, Martin. You seem like a good kid at heart. Our church and faith tell us to love our neighbor. It's the principle of it. Because I like you. You seem like a good kid at heart. I'm not a kid. Unlike you, I already have one of my own. You've been working with the monks so long, you probably can't even father one. <laughs> so piss off and stop bothering me. I'm busy. Would you like to join Otto, Indris, and me for dinner? You know what, Andreas? I don't want to eat supper with you fucking lot of old farts. You fucking lot of old farts. Alright, fine. Okay, yeah, Martin really, really doesn't like me. Got it. Understood. And just an auto. They're the ones I gotta- I gotta talk to here. But first, let's go in and snoop through their things. Because why not? Miklos? Be with you. God be with you, Andreas. Yeah? Alright, bye-bye. Beautiful. Oh wait, I just realized the detail. Oh, that's- that's neat. You- you take off your hat to go indoors. That's a neat little detail. Interesting. It's the polite thing to do. And here we have the Abbott house. So yeah, you can get to- you can get to here from- by just walking through the Abbott's house. But the back door is locked. Okay. Alright, hello you two. I'm supposed to be having lunch with you or dinner. Good day, Master Mailer. Ah, Andreas, good to see you. I trust Claire gave you my message. Afternoon, Indris, Otto. Clara did give me your message. Sorry I missed you this morning. I was still asleep when you came by. Ah, the abbot really lets you get away with anything, doesn't he? Leave him be, Otto. I'm hungry. Let's pray. Bless us, O uh, oh God, and these your gifts. O oh Lord, and these your gifts which we are about to receive from your bounty. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Very simple prayer. Amen. Amen. Had a bad morning. Barely got anything done, and my neck's aching anyway. Let's ask how the morning treated them. Let's be polite. Let's not immediately start complaining about ourselves. Not too bad, thanks. Hurt my damned hand splitting timber to replace a bad beam in the abbot's house. Whoop! I, I, I was just clicking to advance your dialogue. But I ate some food. It's not that bad of an injury, it just galls me that the abbot bleeds us dry and we're expected to do work here when it suits him. A parasitic growth which develops on oak trees caused by wasps laying their eggs under the tree bark. Oak galls were traditionally harvested and distilled into iron ink used in manuscripts. Really? Interesting. A parasitic growth was developed on oak trees caused by wasps laying their eggs under the tree bark. Oak galls were traditionally harvested and distilled into ink. Weird. Are those the little bumps that you find on trees sometimes? They're like little, like, like little circles? I always, thought, I always thought or heard that they were like, kind of like tree tumors, basically. But is that what this is? Maybe? It specifically says oak trees. We have a lot of oak trees around us. I don't know. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Select food item to eat. I definitely- ooh, rye bread is very good though. But we need some cheese. What- what- I don't even know what I just ate there. Let's eat some cheese. Oh, it's not all that bad. I got lots of good work from the Abbey. Get a lot of good work. Casting pilgrim's badges isn't really smithing, but I don't mind. And let's eat my rye bread. I go for some nice rye right now. Anyway, saw you walking with that Baron Rothvogel in the metal on your way up here. What's that all about? Peter check on the commission. Understood he was friendly with Father Matthias. I think he may be here to pressure Brother Pierre to finish the manuscript he's working on. As far as I can tell, he's here to come to terrorize the people of Tassing and Kirsal. Uh, I think he's here to pressure Brother Pierre to finish the manuscript. I don't like the idea of Pierre being pressured by anyone. He's too old for that. He's a nobleman. Everything must happen. Everything must happen on their time. Just like with the abbot, his work always comes first, and damn the common folk. Oh, well, this abbot anyway. Father Matthias was more- was more reasonable. Yeah. 
The late Abbot was well acquainted with the Baron, you know. He always had misgivings about him. Late Abbot was well acquainted with the Baron, but he always had misgivings. He does seem like an... He has an unsavory side to him, yes. You've got that right. He's been known to fool around with young women. He's married, of course. Otto. That's only gossip, and it isn't Christian to spread rumors like that. Well, I mean, it's probably true. He's a nobleman, they all kind of had their mistresses and things. Most of them, rather. It's not gossip that he beat up that farmer a few years back. Hold Ranig, may he rest in peace. Beat up a farmer! What an asshat! Well, I wasn't there, so I don't know. But if he did that, yes, it speaks poorly of his character. We had a long conversation on our way up here, but he didn't mention anything about that. He beat someone? That doesn't seem like the sort of thing he would do. We don't know what sort of thing he would do. What did you talk about, then? I mean, no offense, but what does a nobleman have in common with an artist? Talk to me about my work. He's fascinated by both art and books. Martin Luther, my time at university, a variety of other things. He's quite well educated. He could sense my inherent moral quality, Otto. <laughs> Shut up. Talk to me about my work. He's fascinated by both art and books. Let's say Martin Luther. Sure. I imagine you have a lot of time to read when you don't have to worry where your next meal's coming from. Going to come from. True. This bitterness and envy are not good for our Christian souls, Otto. Well, I mean, it makes sense to be envious. It's not envy, interest. No one should get away with what he does, what this Abbey does. I agree with Otto! No offense to you, Andreas. I don't have any problem with the books the Abbey makes. I mean, I never did learn to read, but if people are paying the Abbey to make them, it doesn't bother me. Oh, I understand. I see why people resent the Abbot's rule. He's a harsh lord. Oh, uh, Otto, did you see that the Bowers' sheep escaped the grazing fields again? No, but I'm not surprised Martin was supposed to fix that fence, and he probably did a bad job at it. Martin, there you are, you little shit. He's always in a foul mood, and he could be the laziest soul in Tassing. Can't even hold a hammer properly. Married and a father at such a young age, and he barely lifts a finger for his wife or child. On top of that, he's a damn thief. And before you say it, Indrits, that's more than just gossip. Look at him. Over by the guest house. He's probably figuring out what he can steal with the least amount of effort. You are very judgy. I admit, he seemed less than helpful when I saw him this morning. He's a born shirker, sure enough. I know one when I see one. He's just a boy. He still has time to change. I do agree he's just a boy. He still has time to change. But he is a born shirker. Eh, especially when you look in a mirror. Speaking of the Bower's sheep, there is... I, I, I believe that's just like our shorn and the women will be spinning it soon. I, that's like the name... I, I, it's the name for some, some, some kind of sheep, like pre-sheared pre sheep, the, the young sheep, something like that. I can't quite remember. It's like it was or is. Her shorn and the women will be spinning it soon, Otto. I got it, Endress. I need to tease. What God wants to happen will happen. Looks like a storm's coming. We should probably get back to it. Alright, catch up in a moment, Endress. I like you. You're cool looking. Oh, Andreas, uh, say hello to Eva for me if you get a chance. Eva, huh? Well chosen, Otto. Andreas, don't. Just tell her hello for me and keep out of it. You're the one involving me in your courtship. I didn't ask to be your messenger. I'll say, of course. To return to work in the scriptorium until later. Eat work. Okay, yeah, they were all they were all at the mess hall. That's right, they were eating. A few more pages. Afternoon work. Time to get back to work. Can I look at that schedule somewhere? There's my ex libris journal. Uh, maps, people. Glossary. No, it doesn't look like I can look at, like, that schedule anywhere. So, yeah, they were, uh, in the... Refectory? Was that where they ate? I don't see, like, a mess hall. So, considering the kitchen and cellar connects to the refectory, I'm guessing it's the refectory. And that's just the word I'm not familiar with. Yeah, I checked everywhere but there, Damn it! Yeah, they were eating. Okay. I don't know if I could have gotten anything by going there. 
But uh, I'm sure we can still talk to Adok and stuff now, so. Alrighty, I hope you've enjoyed, yes, this episode of uh, Pentiment. Uh, this has to be a little bit of a short one today because uh, i got to get this rendered and uploaded. It's actually late, so I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.